the Mesoproterozoic Era, also called the Boring Billion stage of Earth's history. Oh boy. <laughs> Today's episode's on the uh, second part of the Proterozoic Eon. We're going to talk about the Meso and then the early Neoproterozoic Eras. Because the second uh, half of the Neoproterozoic Eras have really, really long periods, and I think I'm going to do whole episodes for those. So yeah, you can find out all about this era and the next one on uh, Down the Line. All right, welcome back to the show. I'm your host, Pete, as always, and we're just going to jump into this one. The Mesoproterozoic Era is a geological era that occurred from 1.6 to 1 billion years ago. And there are three periods in this era that we're going to talk about today, called the Kelmian, Ectocene, and Steenian periods. These super fucking confusing names. I always have, <laughs> I always have trouble pronouncing them, but I'm, I'm going to try my best. So we're going to start with the uh, Kelmian I hope that's how it's pronounced. It, it's spelled C-A-L-Y-M-M-I-A-N. So, Kalmian. But uh, the Kalmian period is the first geologic period in the Mesoproterozoic era. It lasted from about 1.6 to 1.4 billion years ago. The supercontinent Columbia... <laughs> I had a huge fucking rant about this. Uh, either one or two episodes back. About how... Uh, <laughs> we, we have a landmass today that exists called Columbia... And we still insist on in calling an ancient landmass that isn't around today Columbia, which fucking drives me insane. But the supercontinent Columbia broke up during this uh, period, about 1.5 billion years ago, which uh, I recently found out is also uh, Columbia is also called Nuna. So uh, fuck calling it Columbia. I'm I'm never calling it that again. <laughs> and uh, yeah, like, like I said, if you saw the last episode, you uh, you know my beef with it. <laughs> so the next is the uh, Ectocene period. It's a second geologic period in the Mesoproterozoic era, and it lasted from 1.4 to 1.2 billion years ago. And geologically, the name refers to the continued expansion of platform covers during this period. The 1.2 billion year old hunting formation on Somerset Island, Canada, dates at the end of this period. It contains the microfossils of the multicellular filaments of Bangiomorpha pubescens, which is a type of red algae. I'm just going to call it red algae. I'm not going to, I'm never saying that word again. <laughs> and the first taxonomically resolved eukaryotes. Uh, because red algae produce both uh, sexually and asexually, they were the first organism that exhibited sexual reproduction, which is an essential feature for complex multicellularity. So they're the uh, first kind of uh, life that started producing uh, sexually, which is kind of obviously how we come from. So this is now we're starting to have like types of algae, and then there's more than just red. I think red, which is one of the first ones to to appear during this time, but the world's starting to get greener and more colorful from I think all these uh, types of algaes and life forms like funguses and stuff like that. And then the last period for this one is the Steenian period, and that's the final geologic period in the Mesoproterozoic era, and it lasted from 1.2 to 1 billion years ago. And uh, there were there were a lot of Informa there was a lot of information that I found in all three of these periods that I just couldn't... I didn't feel convinced that uh, I could get it all, like... That there are some things that I found that were like, I didn't know if this was true, and I, I didn't want to give you guys false information. So I'm sticking with the stuff that I know for sure is true. But uh, one thing that, that I think is important to note here is that, like, all these dates, they're so different on every single article I find. So I have to find the one that I see the most commonly or the one that I think makes the most sense. So uh, the supercontinent Rodina assembled during this period in the formation of the Kowiwan, Kowinawan, what the fuck? The Kowinawan Rift also began about 1.1 billion years ago. They're just, you know, uh, supercontinents and I guess these like rifts between the supercontinents but uh, I don't know whose idea it was to name it Kowinawan, but uh, fuck that person. <laughs> he lost the right to name anything ever again. So now we're going to get into the Neo-Protozoic Era. It's the next era. We're going to only go for, I think, the first uh, period of this era, just because the next period after that is... there's there's so, We know so much more now, so that's going to get long. <laughs> but for the Neo-Protozoic Era... The unit is the unit of uh, geologic time from 1 billion years ago to 542 million years ago. So we've like, from what we've talked about so far, we've talked about almost the entire history of Earth. 
So, I mean, once we really know what's going on, we're going to get really, really into the specific years, obviously, like once we get into human history too. But it's crazy to think we just went through like three million years or three billion years uh, of Earth's history, which is most of its history. But this era is the last era of the Precambrian Super Eon and the Protozoic Eon. It's subdivided into the Tonian, Cryogenian, and Edicarian periods, or Ediacaran periods. And so the Cryogenian is when it starts to get like, there's so much more information. I would, I would have to do a whole episode on just that. Uh, it's preceded by the Mesoproterozoic Era and succeeded by the Paleozoic Era, which will be next. After We're about to finish up this uh, super eon and get into like the complex life, like animals and stuff. And so uh, what's most notable about this era is uh, we had the most severe glaciation known in the geologic record, occurring during the Cryogenian, which is the one that we're going to get into next episode, when uh, ice sheets reached the equator and formed a possible snowball Earth. Uh, we talked about that in couple episodes ago where uh, we talked about the reason why it might have led to that and then uh, in the next episode we're going to talk about what it really was these two like biggest uh, ice ages the earth's ever known uh, the earliest fossils of multicellular life are found in the Ediacaran which is the last uh, era in this or the last period in this era and it includes the earliest animals so we're going to wrap up uh, today's episode by talking about the Tonian period, the first uh, geologic period in the Neoprotozoic era. And then uh, not much happened in this one, which is weird because the next one is a long one. That's the one that's going to be the next episode. And this one lasted from 1 billion years to 850 million years ago. So this is the last time that uh, like we were under 1 billion years now. And the only thing that really happened here was uh, rifting, leading to the break, uh, breakup of supercontinent Rodina, the one that formed in the end of the uh, last era of the uh, Meso-Protozoic era. Rifting led to the breakup of the supercontinent Rodina, which had formed in the mid period of the last era. Um, it started breaking up around 850 to 800 million years ago. That's somewhere between there. And that leads us into the next one, which is the uh, Cryogenian period, which is going into the next episode. There's going to be a lot of... Uh, that's the one that's like Ice Age, super glaciers, and I think it happens twice during that era. So... Yeah, I'll see you next time with uh, that episode, and I hope you guys like this one.